How y'all doing, everybody? Welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on a patio. I am smoking my Shamrock. I can't read this thing. Shamrock by Peterson. Beautiful pipe. It's got some great grain in it. Um, and in it today, I am smoking some Jefferson Street from Mylon, Mylon Tobacconists, my local B and M here, uh, which I am blessed to have just three miles away from my house. And uh, this stuff, man, this is some good tobacco right here. This one was recommended to me when I, I asked for their recommendation of a of, of an air for for an aromatic. I I told them I'm not a big aromatic smoker, but I wanted to, to try something they would recommend for me to try, and this was their recommendation: Jefferson Street. Man, they did not let me down. I will be going back in and getting at least eight ounces of this one. This one reminds me of my grandfather. I don't know what he smoked. I can't remember. I never did find out what it was he smoked, but this one, the smell of this one. Reminds me of what my grandfather smoked. When I lit this up, my initial charring smoke was just, took me back to my grandfather's living room. Watching the baseball game. Him sitting in his, his big lazy boy. Me sitting on the couch. San Francisco Giants game on the TV. Yeah. This this will be a regular for me. I'm loving this. Great taste. Great, great room note, man. Just a beautiful room note. Nice retro hail. This is checking all my boxes on this one, boy. It's checking them all off. All the memories flooding back. I was sitting with my grandpa just now. 
I can't recommend this one highly enough. This, if, if you like aromatics at all, even if you don't, Man, this one's just hitting home. Hitting home hard with this one. <sighs> 14 years old again. 1974, sitting on my grandpa's couch. Trying to pick out the flavors on this one. It's kind of I want to say there's a little bit of, of like a, a um, nutmeg or a pumpkin spice almost in this. It's almost reminiscent on a lesser, much lesser scale of. Um, Sleepy Hollow but not as pungent as Sleepy Hollow is Sleepy Hollow is way more overbearing than this this is a much more subtle and I, and I love this much more than I love Sleepy Hollow It's just very reminiscent in a in a subtle way of Sleepy Hollow. Some of the flavorings I'm getting out of it. I'm just trying to think of something that you guys might know that is similar in taste. And Sleepy Hollow is what comes to mind. Maybe even autumn evening might be something else that. But it's kind of got its own. I mean, it's definitely got its own thing going. And I am all about this tobacco. I think this is one that you could definitely smoke around a non-smoker and not get any complaints at all. This is just... Great aftertaste. Just a pleasant pleasant aftertaste in your mouth. Now 
I cannot recommend this highly enough. This is fantastic. Just, I mean, I really, really, uh, sorry Badger Ash, but this is another one you're going to have to buy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just have to send you a sampler pack or something, man. And this is good. You guys got to try this. It is, once again, Jefferson Street from Milan Tobaccos, Tobacconists. Check them out. It's M-I-L-A-N, Tobacconists. Look them up online. Tell them 2 a.m. pipe on the patio sent you. And, uh, Get you some of this stuff, man. This is just delightful. Sorry about the onion pauses in this video, but man, this stuff just transported me to somewhere else, man. It was... Mm. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Talk to you later. God bless you guys. Get you some. And I will talk to you later. I have a couple bowls of this today. I'll catch y'all. Bye-bye now.